Hello everyone! This is Noemi Banki from Halley Bites, sorry, Valley Heights in New South Wales, Australia. Uh, very close to um, Sydney. <laughs> well, today we are going to talk about Shambhala. Shambhala is not a place and it's not the password. Have you seen the movie Doctor Strange? That the password is Shambhala? No, no, it's not the password. So let's see. Ha, what is it? So Shambhala. Oops. <laughs> Instead of being a place or a building, Shambhala is the purpose of fulfilling God's will, which is always good. <clears throat> and I'm going to stop there for a while. <laughs> so I want to ex I want to talk and I want to to discover with you about what is um, this what we call Shambhala. So first of all, it's not a place that we can go. We can uh, look uh, at the GPS and say, okay, I, go, I want to go to Shambhala. No. It's not a building that you can go and see. And instead of that, Shambhala is a purpose. But not any purpose. It's just the purpose of fulfilling God's will. Which means that every time that a person, a group of people, are uh, working for um, and working on the purpose of fulfilling God's will, where well, there is Shambhala. All right. So it's a planetary force field where the hidden government of the world and the masters of wisdom come together. And it's the headquarters of this spiritual hierarchy. And you see here the image is just because there is not a picture. And I'm going to tell you something about that. Shambhala was created. And is the government of the world. What does it mean? Well, by the correspondence law, in the same way as in a country, there is a government. Okay, in the whole planet, there is a government. There are intelligence or beings who works for the purpose of helping humanity and that place or those peoples are in Shambhala but Shambhala is not a place as I as we already said and all this information is on is within a book which is called the seven rays sorry seven rays by Ruben Sedenio which is actually Siete Rayos because the book at the moment is in Spanish. All right, so the image you saw, let me show you here. This is, of course, this is not Shambhala. Do you recognize this photo? This is the image of the photo, always a photo, <laughs> of the um, Taj Mahal in Agra, in India. And Shambhala is, or let's say, let's put um, the other way around. The Taj, Mahal, the Taj Mahal is similar to the to Shambhala, but Shambhala at the moment is not physical, and I'm going to explain why. For here, I want to say that there is a keynote and the Shambhala Retreats keynote is within the final of Beethoven's Symphony Pastoral 
Symphony number six, movement five. If you want to listen to this keynote, well, you can do it. Okay, so we there is or there are three, um, let's say three parts. One is Shambhala, the other is the spiritual hierarchy, hierarchy, and the and then the humanity. And if you see the picture here, every component represents a array. So the three, let's say that the the threefold flame is in everywhere. So the blue. The blue flame, let me see if I can show you. The blue flame or the blue ray is represented by Shambhala, the head. The spiritual, the spiritual hierarchy is the pink, sorry, sorry, the golden ray, which is all the beings, intelligent beings the masters of wisdom and then humanity is or represents the pink ray which is the action and this is very important that we know this why because shambhala is the head it's like let's say i will give you this example so you can understand oops <laughs> Let's say that in a country, like here, in Australia, all the government, all the prime minister and all the ministers who <clears throat> uh, dictate or who make the um, rules and laws and they think what is the best for the country. Good. But then there is no one who put this law in, into practice. And this, how can we implement the rules if there is nobody who put them into practice? And this is the, the role of humanity. And this is very, very, very important. Because they can think what is the best, but at the end of the day, we, human beings, are responsible for our planet. And only we you and me okay and everything uh, about shambhala started with this being who is him he is sanat kumara he found shambhala and the spiritual hierarchy 18 million years ago in the Lemurian era. He's from Venus and is known as both the 16 year old boy because he has the appearance of a 60 year, year, 16 year old boy and the ancient of days for being ancient. Imagine that. Yes, he's <laughs> very, very old, but he appears to be a 16 year old old boy. Okay, so <clears throat> what happened? Very simple. In a nutshell, the earth was completely, um, let's say, in its last days. And everyone was uh, fighting each other. Mm, nobody cares about the others. They just was anarchy. There were there was no order. There was no compassion. No people who um, work for the benefit of of others. So was really a mess and 
uh, an edit came from the galaxy saying, okay, everyone in the, in the galaxy, the, the, the rest, we are seven planets, okay, so the rest, the, the, um, the six of the planets were ready to go to the next step, but the Earth wasn't. So, let's take the Earth away and move on. Simple. In a body, when someone has uh, an extra tissue that doesn't work or anything, okay, the doctor says, well, Mrs. or Mr. or Miss, we need to get rid of this. Get rid of this. Okay, and one, the person says, okay, yes, get rid of this. So the galaxy says, okay, let's get rid of the Earth. That's it. But no, because Sanat Kumara went to Venus. He, live, he uh, belongs to Venus. He's from Venus. And he thought, if I go to the Earth, I will probably be able to have people there. And he was thinking, 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 and his compliment, let's say, in human words, his wife, uh, how, no, you know, imagine the situation and how he can explain to his wife that he wants to go to the earth. Well, so the thing was that she knew what he wanted. Because you know that wife, <clears throat> wives know what their husbands want to do or the kids. And so they, they are this intuitive, intuitive part of, uh, of women. And she said to him, would you like to go to earth? And he said, yes, okay, feel free to do so. And he came. And he thought that he will came for a couple of years and he spent 18 million years here. A long time, a long run. Okay, so thanks to Sanat Kumara, we are at home. We have home. We have the earth. And at that time, other beings from Venus came to build up Shambhala physically, brick over brick. And what happened is that people, ignorant barbarians, came to destroy what they have done. So they had they had to build up three times and the third time Sanat Kumara said okay now we are going to move the, uh, the, the building let's say to another level which is instead of being physical is etherical ether in the etheric plane means that we cannot see because it's another vibration. Okay, and this is what happened with Shambhala. That one upon a time was in Gobi, in the desert Gobi, near in China, around China, India, Nepal, something like that. But we will see where it is now. So, this Shambhala retreat is on King's Park. Long Island, New York, the USA. Why on? Because this is, oh, let's say, over the city. And we, there is here the map of the United States. And we can see here the state of New York. And within New York, Kings, Island, Kings Park in Long Island. And this is the place of Shambhala. 
and Shambhala is working from there. Okay, Sanat Kumar's electronic pattern is a five point star. One of, and you can see <laughs> the, the English, one of Sanat Kumar's keynotes is Stephen, Stephen Foster's Beautiful Dreamer. And you also can listen to this on YouTube or any stream that you like. This is an amazing piece of music. Really, really amazing. Okay. If we weren't on Facebook, we could listen to the song, but because we are on Facebook and there are some, um, some copyrights that we should respect them. The Shambhala Triumvirate. Okay. It's the group of Shambhala, the hierarchy, and humanity. We already saw that. It's composed of Lord Sanat Kumara, Lord Gautama, and Lord Maitreya. So what's happened here? Well, Sanat Kumara, when one of the human beings were able was able, sorry, to be in the place or uh, in, in the position of um, the planetary logos, well, at that time, Sanat Kumara was able to go back home, go back to Venus. Venus. Okay, and... So, here again we have the Threefold Flame, as you see. Well, the, now this is the Triumvirate. 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 Sanat Kumara represents the Blue Ray. Gautama, Lord Gautama, represents the Golden Ray. And Lord Maitreya represents the Pink Ray. This is like as the threefold flame. Okay? All right. And here there is the let's say there are other mm, beings of the spiritual hierarchy. At the top, let's say the head is Lord Gautama. He, he is the planetary logos. And the need is the Earth Buddha, Lord Maitreya. What happened here? So Sanat Kumara was on this position. He went to Venus, went back to Venus, and Sanat Kumara went back to Venus, and Lord Gautama became the planetary logos. What happened when Lord Gautama evolves, ev will evolve? Okay, so in that case, Lord Maitreya will become planetary logos. And there is also the directors of the three departments, the department of the Manu, the department of the Bodhisattva, and the department of Ma the Maha Johan. So, when, let's go back again, when Ga Lord Gautama evolves to another position, then Maitreya will become the planetary logos and Lord Kuchumi, the, in, uh, at the present, the Bodhisattva, will become the Earth Buddha. And Lady Soshi, the Johan of the second, the second golden ray will become the Bodhisattva, and so on, so on, so on. Mm -hmm. So there is the here the seven Johans as well. Okay, under the direction of the Maha Johan. Okay, so let's have a look now. Who is Lord Gautama Buddha? Some people call him the 
Buddha, but it, he's not Buddha. Remember, he was the Buddha of Earth. He was before, oops, he was before the Earth, the Buddha of Earth, but now he is the planetary laws. So Siddhartha Gautama, was his name, the Buddha, is currently the planetary logos, the maximum ju jurisdiction of the spiritual hierarchy of Shambhala and the earth. He was known as Siddhartha, the prince of Kabilavastu in northern India. Gautama's keynote is Rinsky Korsakov's Song of India. Okay, so and he is the head, Lord Gautama Buddha is the head of the whole planet. And I hope that this, is <clears throat> this will be clear, but if not, you can watch the video again and again. So, at the moment, Lord Gautama Buddha for the earth is the Blu-ray. He represents the head, the blue, the first Blu-ray. Although he he personal ray is go, the go, the second golden ray. But his position, so let's say Lord Gautama Buddha is the second ray. But the planetary logos, the position, or Gautama's position, is blue, the, the first blue ray. So he's working uh, under the blue ray at the moment. Okay. And he taught the fourth noble truth. Suffering exists, the cause of suffering is the attachment, and we free ourselves from suffering by renunciation. So, the way to free oneself from suffering is practicing the Noble Eightfold Path. Okay, so let's see the Noble Eightfold Path. A, the Noble Eightfold Path. Positive thinking, positive speech, positive action, positive livelihood, positive observation, positive meditation, positive understanding, and positive effort. By doing so, you will free yourself from any suffering, any pain any discomfort, any problem, any trouble, any issue by practicing all these things. And of course, we can talk about this in more detail, but it will take like an hour or so. So let's keep going. Well, and by the way, the um, I didn't say that, but the the electronic pattern, uh, let's say Lord Gautama Buddha's um, electronic pattern, is the lotus, the flower, the flower lotus. Okay. Now, Lord Maitreya. He's the Buddha of Earth and is known as Lord Divine. He's the purest expression of love. One of Maitreya's keynotes is Samuel Darber's Adagio Four Strings. Okay, and you can see here his keys, his, um, let's say Maitreya's uh, electronic pattern is the double dorje. You can see in the image, I know, I don't know if you can see clearly, but it is the double dorje. 
Okay, let's talk a little bit about Lord Martreja. There is not so much detail about him, uh, <clears throat> but what we we do know is that he um, he was the Bodhisattva when Master Jesus was incarnated, like two thousand years ago. <clears throat> and at that moment he was the representation of all the inner self for whole, the, the whole humanity. But now he is the Buddha of Earth, the, the Earth. Every time that you feel alone, you feel upset, you feel like you are in trouble, think that Lord Maitreja every day at 5 p.m. He, he is from ja, um, the Himalayas and he is he opens his arms and he gives a blessing for all who will connect with him a blessing so at the sunset of every day he does that from his home in the Himalaya. If you see the sunset you can remember and you can connect and you can receive this blessing and expand around you. Like you can say I am inspiring the bless the my treasure's blessing. I am absorbing my treasure's blessing. I am expanding my treasure's blessing. I am projecting my treasure's blessing all around you. Okay. So now, in terms of the three departments. The first department of the Manu is the first blue ray of will, is the representation of the first blue ray of will. The Manu. This image is the image of this, the Manu of the seventh race, which, uh, who is um, Saitru. Okay, so this, the second department of the Bodhisattva. It's the second golden ray of wisdom. And at the moment is um, is in charge um, Lord Kuthumi is in charge of this of this department. And the third department of the Mahajan is the representation of the third pink ray of love. And the Mahajan is the director of the Seven to hand. Okay, so within this, um, the blue, the first department, there is not all, there is not only a being which is the the Manu. There are other beings. For example, the Master El Moria. He works uh, within these departments, and so many others. We are going to to talk about them. Uh, in coming weeks, in coming lessons or activities. So, Manu Vaivasatua. He's the current Manu of the Earth, the director of both the fifth race and the first department of the spiritual hierarchy of Shambhala. He lives in the Himal Himalaya. Okay, but what is the Manu? Well, Manu, a Manu, is the prototype of a whole race. He is in charge of bringing the race up to Earth. The Manu works with the Builder Stevas on the configuration of the continental platform. The Manu of the fourth race was Master Himalaya. Lord Meru will be the Manu of the next race, the sixth one, 
and Lord Saitru of the Seventh Race. And talking about that, let me tell you something. Well, Amanu is the prototype of a race. So at the moment, the, the current Manu is Vaivasattva of the fifth race. But the, the Manu of the sixth race is, um, it, it has his uh, retreat, the etheric retreat in Peru, in a mountain there in, in, in Peru, in the Machu Picchu. And Lord Meru will be the sixth, and Lord Saistro also there. What I wanted to say is before. Because at the moment, let's say that the, 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 the current Manu is Vaiva Satwa and he, he belongs or he is from the Himalaya. You can see that all the spirituality was around that area in the world. So everyone wants uh, spirituality. Uh, okay, let's go to India. Let's go to Nepal. Okay. But what well, because everything changed now the focus is on America, especially Peru. So what we are going we, we are seeing is the whole population is mm, let's say gathering in America. So all the cities in Peru and surrounding they are getting bigger and bigger. They are growing and very fast. Because there, there is the focus at the moment. So all the spirits, all the, the no spirits, sorry. Yes, all the beings who want to incarnate there. This is um, yeah, how it works. <laughs> okay. And Lord Kuthumi, he is the director of the second department of the spiritual hierarchy of Shambhala. He is the instructor of the world and the master of angels and humans. He raises awareness about the inner self development in all humanity. He creates, sustains and manages religions and philosophical currents for each race. So we remember that we said every race came, there are seven races. Okay, there's I know there's a lot of information here, but well, there are seven races. At the moment we are in the fifth race, but they're also from the sixth and the seventh, uh, all mixed at the moment. And the Manu is in charge of the prototype of the race and the platform and these things and the second department mm, is in charge of the religions and this is what at the moment Lord Kutumi is doing well he was um, he was San Francis of Assisi in Italy, he was he lived. He was Italian, and if you remember the the meeting um, of different leader, religious leader, were in Assisi. The meeting was yeah. There were were two or three. I don't remember. So. His eth etheric retreat is on Dal Lake, Kashmir, northern India. And the image is very clear in terms of what he does, because his work is um, about religions, so you can see many, many religions around he, his head. Because he is not working only on one, but 
all of them. And Paul the Venetian. He is the Mahatohan in charge of the third department of the spiritual hierarchy of Shambhala. His etheric retreat is on Sri Lanka underneath a tea plantation. And you see his image here with um, what we call like paints. Uh, well, because he was a painter, an artist. He is known as Paolo Veneziano. Paolo Veneziano is in Italian. He was an Italian. And you can see here an, uh, his artwork the crucifixion and this artwork is in the National Gallery of Victoria in Melbourne and do you remember I told you that when Jesus was in Master Jesus was incarnated the the let's say the the head of the department of Bodhisattva was Mm, Maitreya, okay. So Maitreya was at that time the inner Christ, and he was connected with Jesus, with Master Jesus. And the Christ, I, I'm I'm talking and you don't see me <laughs> because I want to show you the the picture. But okay, I'm going to do this. And the Christ, the, I mean the Master Jesus was. The incarnation, let's say everyone, okay, let's put in these words. Everyone is an inner self. But not all inner self are awake. Some of them are awake, some, no, some don't. So, Master Jesus was a developed Mm, uh, yes, a developed inner self. And the inner self is connected to your blood. So when Master Jesus was on the, uh, on the cross, his blood touched the ground. And that time, at that time, the... Let's say that literally the inner Christ contact the earth. And this is why I'm talking about that, because this is important that I don't know if you can see the image, but there is here uh, a, a drop of blood, which is when the inner Christ touched the earth. When we are talking here about inner Christ, remember, we are not talking just about Master Jesus, because Christ means the Messiah. Uh, is not a person. But in, in, in a general term, generally speaking, we call the inner self. But inner self and inner Christ is the same. Okay. Well, um, there is the karmic tribunal, tribunal, tribunal. Sorry, <laughs> the karmic tribunal. It's the group of masters of wisdom who are in charge of the register and memories of the evolution of each human being, humanity, and the earth. It observes the development of each ray or its deficit in each person, group, city, nation, continent, and the whole planet. It fairly distributes the individual, group, national, racial, and world karma. It also makes the live streams incarnate in the correct moment according to the ray, divine plan of perfection, and karma. In other words, you are incarnated not because your mom and dad, you know, did something. 
but because you want it. You want it. You raise your hand and you say, I want to go. I want to incarnate on earth to learn something. You and you as a soul, you bring you brought a divine plan of perfection. And this is why you are incarnated. Because you have a purpose. And that purpose is good. You thought to do something good for others. Now, now you need to figure it out. You may thought that you want to be a hairdresser. To make people more beautiful. You thought to be a lawyer because you want to help to manage the laws. You thought to be a cleaner because, you know, you need to keep clean everything and many, many other um, purposes in life. So what this tribunal do does, actually, is they, okay, you want to be a painter. Let's say you want to be an artist. Okay, let's find the perfect moment for you the continent, the family, your parents, um, you want to be a musician, okay, maybe your parents are musicians because you connect with them. Or depends on what your goals were, is what you are doing at the moment. So the tribunal works on that. So did nobody send you here to do something, there's no such a such thing as a destiny or something like that. But you, you want it. This is your choice, your decision, your responsibility, as well. But it's fun. And there are nine members of the karmic tribunal: Balas Athena, Mother Kuan Yin, Mother Alexa, Mother Mary, Lady Nada, Lady Portia. Elohim Vista, Cyclopea, Lord Scythru, and Sri Magra. Sri Magra. Athena is known in, in Greece, maybe you know you heard about Athena. Mother Kuan Yin, she is known in China. Mother Alexa is the mother of our His Majesty Son Ramon. Mother Mary. Well, Mother Mary, the mother of Jesus, and uh, Lady Nada, um, yes, he also, she also, he, she was uh, a former uh, Chohan of the sixth, uh, the sixth um, ray, the, or, um, oh my god, the sixth gold ruby ray, and Lady Portia, she is known as the goddess of opportunity because what this tribunal does is not just to judge i mean they don't judge but they give opportunities for this reason and lady portia is the head of this uh, tribunal and he is the is known as the goddess of um the the goddess of opportunity when we say God, Goddess, uh, don't think that this is about um, politicism. God, just a title. Because there's only one being, let's say, like the... Um, yeah, that, like a... God is life, is, is the, the, the universal being, let's say. And when someone, like some, for example, uh, Lady Portia, is known as God, uh, the goddess uh, of opportunity. Mother Alexa is known as the goddess of freedom. And many others. So it's just the title. Is because, because God means is or I am. Well, when these beings, they became, they, no, I, don't, I cannot say incarnate, but all they cells are that virtue is that saying God or saying them they their their beings is the same mm, and for this reason we call them goddess or God okay just for to clarify that 
and Lord Sayasru, I talked about him today. He's the Manu of the seventh race. And what? Well, that's it. But what? Why is important for you then? Well, every time, every night before falling asleep, keep away for a moment your your smartphone, the TV, your laptop, your notebook or tablet, whatever <laughs> you use. And just take a nice deep breath, so we can practice now. Take a nice deep breath, nice deep breath. And you will think of what you have done during the day. All the actions you did, all the thoughts, all the situations that happened during that day. And if you see something that you like to change or improve, well, in that case, we can do this decree. It is the decree of the violet fire. And we can say, I am the violet fire transmuting all the mistakes made by me and all humanity. Thank you, Father. And thank you. Thank you for being here today. <laughs> and well, this is all for now. Next week we are going to have a special, let's say, we are going to start talking about the Blu-ray, but we're going to start, we are going to start with the um, with the activity of Archangel Michael, because actually the 19th, the sorry, the 29th of September is uh, Saint, Saint Michael's Day, or we call the Archangels Michael today. Archangels Michael's Day. <laughs> okay, well, thank you everyone and see you. Bye. Bye for now.